Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Jen. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Colin, do you ever get confused with the different pronunciations of words in British American English? 你有没有觉得有些单词英式和美式的发音非常容易弄混啊？比如说 tomato, tomato. Oh, not for a long time. But、uh, when I was younger, I used to. But I've traveled a lot since then, so I'm used to hearing different ways the same words can be pronounced. Are there many of this kind of words? Oh yeah, quite a few, and many of them are common everyday words. Hmm, sounds like a good topic for today. Sure. 那在今天的节目当中呢，我们就来聊一聊英美式发音的不同。So, what are some of the common words that are pronounced differently in British American English? 那有哪一些常见的单词是美式和英式发音是不一样的呢 ？Well, one is vitamins. So that's the American pronunciation, right? Vitamins. That's right. Vitamins are any of a group of natural substances that are necessary in small amounts for the growth and good health of the body. We talk about oranges having a lot of vitamin C, for example. Vitamins 就是维生素，它对于人体生长还有身体健康都是必须的。比如我们经常会说到橙子里面就会有很多的维生素 C. So what about the British pronunciation? Vitamins. The British use a i sound, vitamin, while the Americans use a i sound, vitamin. Vitamin, vitamin. But you are a Canadian. What do Canadians say? Well, I use both. But most younger Canadians will use the American way. Why do you use both? Well, it just depends on who I'm talking with. If I know someone is British, I'll use their way, and the、uh, same for Americans. I-, I don't care either way. I mean, they're just words. I see. Okay, what's another one? All right.、Um, what do you call a list of planned activities or things to be done, showing the times or dates when they are intended to happen or be done? 嗯，在英文当中称呼一个已完成的计划或者一个将要完成的事情的时间计划安排清单的话，哼、hmm, ，You mean a schedule, right? Yeah. Wow. You use perfect American pronunciation. <laughs> so it's not the same in Britain. Nope. They say schedule.、Mm. Schedule for Americans. Schedule for the British. Schedule. So the British use a soft sh sound. Schedule. And the Americans use a sk sound schedule. That's right, schedule for the Americans and schedule for the British. Are they spelled the same way? They are spelled the same way. Yeah, yeah. All the all these words are spelled the same, but are pronounced differently. Ah, I see. So I know a common one. Either, either. Yeah, that's a good one. I think most English learners know the Americans use the. Uh, e sound, either, and the Brits use the I sound, either.、Mm-hmm. But really, both Americans and British use both ways. Right, it's become a kind of saying too, right? Yes. For example, if someone asks you, "Do you want a piece of pie or a piece of cake?" What would you say? Both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. But how would you answer if you could only have one of them? Maybe I would say it doesn't matter. Okay, okay. So you can say either, either to mean it doesn't matter. Oh, I see. Because either, either 都是通用的嘛，所以用哪一个都可以。所以 either, either 就逐渐演变成了一个英文的习语，表示无所谓，都可以。You know, a really interesting one is the word advertisement. You know, when a company is trying to sell something, they have advertisements. Advertisement 就是商家要推销某个商品时推出的广告。So advertisement is the American way. How do the British say? Advertisement. The American is advertisement. The British is advertisement. This one is interesting because the difference is in the syllable stress of the word. Yeah, 其实这个单词因美式发音的不一样呢，主要是在于它的重音。美式发音的重音是在第一个音节，而英式发音的重音呢是在第二个音节。So the Americans stress the first syllable and the British stress the second syllable. Right, but in some parts of America, the stress is in the third syllable. 
So in America, there are two ways. Advertisement, advertisement, and in Britain, it's advertisement. Wow, that can be confusing. Well, we just have to remember that syllable stress is part of pronunciation too. Are there more like that? Well, the differences in the syllables? Yeah, um, how about uh, aluminum? It's a kind of metal used to make cans for drinks like Coca-Cola. Aluminum is American and aluminium is British. Ah, aluminum 可口可乐的易拉罐就是铝做的。美式呢就叫做aluminum,英式呢就叫做aluminium。那可以听出来两者间的区别就是音节数量的不同。so this word has a different number of syllables in the American version and the British version. Right. Four in the American pronunciation. Aluminum. And five in the British pronunciation. Aluminium. They are spelt slightly different too, with the British version having an extra I. Aluminum. Aluminium. Wow, they sound very different. Yeah, they do. So, some native speakers aren't used to hearing the other way. How can we get used to so many different ways to say the same words? Well, of course, traveling and meeting different people is the best way. But, if you watch uh, movies or TV shows from different countries, it's easy to get used to it. This is the same for other languages that are spoken in different countries, like uh, Spanish, and French, etc. You and I say some English words differently. Yeah. You use the American pronunciation always, but I don't. I think a good example of that is the word mobile, as in mobile phone. Mobile phone. 手机这个单词. Yeah, you see, the American way is to say mobile, while the British is mobile. So, is it a problem if you mix the pronunciations? I mean, sometimes use the American way, sometimes the British? 那在口语当中,把音美式发音弄混了是个问题吗? 有的时候发音是,有的时候发美式 mm, No, I mean, that's what Canadians do and we don't think it's a problem <laughs> I see <laughs> Well, it's really only strange if you are mixing accents Sometimes using an American accent and then switching to a British accent but, you know, not many people do or even can do that. Yeah. Okay. How about one more example of a common word that is pronounced differently in American and British English? Mm, okay. Um, so, what would you call someone's right to keep their personal matters and relationships secret? Privacy. Right. Privacy. <laughs> privacy. American, it's privacy. British, privacy. By the way, is potato the same as tomato, potato, potato? <laughs> no, both Americans and British say potato. But there is a saying, potato, potato, which means you do something your way, and I will do it my way, even if it's a little different. 对, 那在英文当中呢, 其实并没有potato这个发音啊, 但是你说potato, potato就是一个习语, 表示你按你的来, 玩我的来, 那今天呢, 我们就聊了一下单词英美是不同的发音, Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道每天都会更新如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容我们都会在这个频道更新我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语如果你觉得还不错的话记得给我们订阅哦另外点开小